Hey, it's Mr. B. I'm going to go over right now how to print out anything from Revit on a D size, which is 36 by 24 inch piece of paper. Um, I'm hoping that maybe um, you can just basically listen and do this while I show you how to do it. Before we print though, just make sure you have a nice title for presentation drawing, a write-up. Make sure your floor plans don't show anything like electrical or sockets. There's no fills, they're really easy to read. Make sure you got your first and last name, um, the right date, and um, you know all capital letters. So this one looks pretty good. <coughs> so um, here's how you print. You're gonna go up to the big R, and you're gonna scroll down to where it says print, and then you're gonna do the top choice, which is print. Next, you're going to change the printer name um, and you're going to make sure that it says slash slash SAFS room 100 HPDJ500. Basically, it's our Hewlett Packard DesignJet 500. Next, you're going to go ahead and click properties where it says Paper options, size is, you're going to click on the custom button. You're going to change 11 to be 36, and you're going to change 8.5 to be 24. Click OK. Print quality, you're going to change it from normal to best enhance. Optimize for, you're going to change it from drawing text to images. And go ahead and check the maximum detail box. Then at the top, there's several tabs. You're going to click on the Services tab. Troubleshooting menu, there's an icon there with a hammer. You're going to click that hammer. And you're going to, make sh you're going to go ahead and check the box that says Send Job as a Bitmap. Basically, you'll use the, computer, the computer's uh, memory, RAM, instead of the printer. Um, I've had, if you don't check this box, um, I've had things not print all the way. And also, the other box is already checked, Enable Spool Smart. So click OK. Click OK. Um, do not hit OK right now. If you do, your piece of paper, for some weird reason, will be missing like your renderings and stuff. So what you want to do now is you want to click the printer name to Adobe PDF, and then hit OK. So now it's going to print your presentation page to a digital Adobe Acrobat PDF file, which would be really good, the best way to send uh, your things via the internet to, say, a client. It's going to take a few seconds. <coughs> it's going to ask you where to save it. I would save it um, to your H drive and um, call it like something presentation plan. So now it's creating <coughs> the Adobe PDF file. And the reason we're doing this step is so that when you actually do hit print, it's going to print out exactly as you see it. Okay, so it launches up Adobe Acrobat. Now what you want to do is you want to go File and then hit print. You want to change the printer to that same HP 500 that we picked earlier. Then you want to go ahead and go to properties just like before click custom just like before type in 36 
24 high just like before. Change the print quality to best. Optimize for images with max detail just like before. Go to services, hit the hammer. Make sure the send job as bitmap is checked just like before. Hit OK and then if it says actual size and it looks like it's filling the whole page, you've done a great job, go ahead and hit print. Um, if you're in my class right now, June 2014, you're going to click um, two right here so that you have one and I have one. So this is how you would print it out. Thanks for listening.